Hello everybody, welcome to our third <laughs> part. Gabby's laughing at me because she's in the room while I'm doing this, and it's the first time she's been back home while I'm doing this. But um, I'm going to crack on anyway, and uh, I want to talk about the gas heater that we've installed. It's a Carver um, 1800CB, I believe is the, the name for it. Um, I think Carver's been taken over by Truma now. Um, but I just got this this cheap uh, old gas heater. It's out of a caravan, probably from the 80s or something, and I think it cost me about 30 pounds. I got it through one of the uh, self-build campervan forums, which are really, really uh, good to be a member of. If you're not and you're embarking on doing your own projects, then I'd highly recommend joining one. Always great tips and advice. Um, so yeah, uh, as you can see, I got the got the heater, took it apart, and gave it a good service. Um, made sure that the jets were clear and that there was nothing blocking um, the the airways for the gas. Uh, a lot of these heaters have been on carav caravans for many years and haven't been used, so spiders, webs, and all sorts are inside the uh, the gubbins of the fire. So if you get one, take it all apart and give it a good clean. Um, either with like a pipe cleaner or uh, get some uh, audio cable and fray it at the end so it picks up all the nasty bits and pieces inside and then you'll uh, you'll be set to install your heater. There's several different options that you could go for. You can get the, uh, the, the other types of gas heaters and you can get the diesel heaters um, but they're super expensive and uh, I wasn't even sure if I wanted any heater at all because the, with the first intentions of the van was just to use it during the summer. Uh, but as the build went on, I thought there's no way that I can sell the van after just one season of using it. We have to use it in the winter. So this was the best uh, option I came up with with our budget without spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds. And it's really, really effective. It warms the inside of the van up really, really well. Don't forget that gas can be very dangerous if it's not uh, installed correctly so make sure that you get your work checked if you're not 100% sure that it's safe. So the next part of the of the van build was to put the window in and we needed a side window in the side of the van uh, for the sake of the DVLA and to get it officially converted into a camper van and I didn't want any complications when I would get my new vehicle insurance uh, or when we were abroad so I wanted to do everything legitimately so we put this little horse box window in that I got from eBay for £60, I think actually it was £70 because I got it powder coated black um, and I thought the small window is good for security, you can't smash it and climb through uh, I mean if somebody was that way inclined they could go through the front anyway but it just gives less opportunity for um, the opportunistic thief um, so I cut the hole um, and hammer it around the the edge of the metal so that, uh, that there was no bare metal and then sicker flexed the inside edge of the window frame stuck it in used some stainless steel screws and screwed through uh, through the frame through the metal of the door and into a, a plywood a window frame that I'd made the other side and then reattached the insulation and uh, and the lining, the, pl the plywood lining on the inside of the van. And uh, it's actually quite nice having the window at the height we have it at because when you're sitting inside it's the perfect height to peer out at uh, passers-by. Also something else we did was tinted the window uh, with, I think it's limo black window tint or something it's called, that I got from eBay again for five quid or something. Um, and just to give that extra bit of uh, privacy because if there was no tint on that side window you would be able to see the TV and the Xbox and what have you whatever we had laying around inside the van so we didn't want that uh, visible from the outside. So there were a couple of other little things that we did to the van just to finish it off. One was the wind deflectors on the front windows. This has been such a good uh, addition to the van. A bit of a surprise, I was umming and ahhing on whether or not they're necessary but it's so good being able to crack the front windows open and uh, even if it's raining 
um, just to get some extra ventilation through because our side window, even though it opens, which is great, um, there's no gutter over the top of it so that the rain uh, doesn't come in. Um, so yeah, wind deflectors I'd definitely recommend. And the other thing was the awning and I didn't want to spend much on an awning. I was even planning on making our own one out of a tarpaulin, but I got this one. I think it's a caravan store. Um, it's meant for a caravan. It's three and a half meters long, I think. Um, <clears throat> but I picked it up off eBay for £116, I think, and made a bracket to go on the, uh, on the roof bars. And that's been really, really great as well, especially in the hot weather where it was good to use that to have some shade. So, this is the last overview video I'm going to do. I think I've covered most of the parts of the conversion on the inside. Um, I hope to do some more specific videos on the electrical system, more on the plumbing, uh, and the nitty gritty of the, the bits and pieces inside the van. So, if you like these, like the videos, click subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.